Okay, so we're looking for the commemoratives, as I say. Ah, well, there's our first find. That's a Shakespeare's comedies. Oops. And this one looks like it might be one as well. But I'll zoom in. You could see if it was. Three, two, three. Uh, <gasps> Hello, welcome back. This is CoinPig. I have another £500 worth of £2 coins to go through. And uh, looking for the commemorative coins, of course. Especially the ones over face value. Who knows what we're going to find. Anyway, let's get straight on with it. Have a look, see what we can find. In the meantime, though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And uh, let's get on with this. Alright, there we are. Let's start with this one, shall we? Okay, so we're looking for the commemoratives, as I say, not these technologies. Nothing in the first bag again. Ah, well, there's our first find. It's the First World War Army. Very common there, and uh, not something that we'll be keeping. Oh, there's a Shakespeare's, oops, Shakespeare's uh, tragedies. Now we can potentially find an error coin on this one, with the wrong edge inscription. Um, it says, "What a piece of work is a man." Yes, it does. Well, at least it would do if I kept it in focus. Um. It's unfortunately the correct inscription, so although it's our second find only, it's not something that we want to keep, unfortunately. Oops. Knocking the camera. Oh, finally, found something. It's a, nothing special, but it's a Great Fire of London. Mm, in reasonably good condition as well. So that one is just above face value. I don't know if that was a fluke. We haven't found a great deal of anything until now. Hmm. Actually, we're finding a few 2012s. Actually, that one looks like it's off-centre. Is it me? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this is quite... Decent 2012s, they're a fairly low mintage year, um, but uh, I'm not going to keep them all, obviously. There's quite a few of them. Oh, right. Is that correct? Three, two, uh, seemed like it was short. There's a shiny one in there, but what about. <gasps> wow! I wasn't even looking at that one, I was looking at one behind it. It's a Scotland, but that is less weird. Because I relatively recently I found one. 
of these and uh, <laughs> it's been a while that one is amazing I wasn't expecting to find that as you can see not a great deal but I don't know it's not in bad shape it's it's been circulated obviously it's getting on a bit as well now but that is a good find that is a Commonwealth just in case I haven't mentioned it <laughs> that's the Commonwealth Games Scotland in 2002 that's 700 and well three quarters of a million I can't remember the exact figure I can never remember the exact figures but that is a really good find I wonder if there's more I wonder if there's a bag or two oh there's, there's another one there that's a Shakespeare's histories very common there and uh, not one that we'll keep, but uh, another Shakespeare. Oh, 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 perhaps there is a old bag of uh, returns or something. Um, uh, oh, and a 2010. Now, for the 2010, we can find a DDO. That's a doubled die obverse. That's obviously the root, the reverse. This is the obverse. And it doesn't look like it to me, but I'll zoom in and see if I can check. Don't think it is there. Yeah, you could see if it was. Because the Elizabeth, the IRB would both be doubled. It's not. So that is just a standard 2010, unfortunately. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, there's another one. That one is a DNA double helix. I don't know why we're finding so many coins in this bag. But that's not one that we'll keep. It's very common. Oh, and there's another Shakespeare's histories. Oh, and there's another Shakespeare behind it. That's a Shakespeare's comedies. Now, quite common, but uh, one that we were looking for a while back. Unfortunately, as I said, now it's quite common. We're not really looking for it. And this one looks like it might be one as well. It is. <laughs> well, that's just weird. That bag was a very productive. We had three coins that weren't commemoratives. Hopefully, there's another bag or two like that. Hopefully. But that's... You know, I thought this was, was good, but Commonwealth Games Scotland is a really good find. Let's carry on there. Oops. There's a Act of Union. I think we found that one today, but uh, not a very sought after one, very common. There's a shiny one, that might be something. Oh, there's definitely something in there. Yep, that is a, another First World War Army. Second one of those we found, a very shiny one as well. There's another one here, there's the, the Brunel's Achievements. That's the Arches at Paddington Station. Very common there. Oh, and there's a second one. I told you it was very common, didn't I? Oh, and there's, there's some more. Oh, I told you it was very common. There's another uh, Trinity House Lighthouse. Hasn't got the extra metal in the top corner of the actual light panel there. But that's a very common one. 
There's a Florence Nightingale. Again, very common. This one looks, well, there's another one behind. That one looks like it might be a 2016. <gasps> another one. Another. Actually, that one might even be better than the first one we found, is it? Or well, perhaps not. It's got some marks on it. But that's a lovely find. Again, a second. I think somebody's definitely put their duplicates back in here. It's got mixed in with other bags, which have been hunted by the looks of it. But that one's a lovely find. Again, it's the second one of those. I wonder if we can find a second... Commonwealth Games in the last bag in a bit. Probably not, but you never know. There's the oh, end of World War 2, as they say now, as we say now, not VE Day. But uh, oh, another, <laughs> another First World War Army, and another end of First World War. That's it. End of Second World War, even. We didn't get any um, Commonwealth Games in that one, but we did get another <laughs> Great Fire of London. But we've still got one bag left. Uh, that's not. Anyway, last few coins. I think that'll be it. It is. Well, not many finds, but three lovely finds. I'm not going to complain about any hunt when we find a Commonwealth Games, even if it is a Scotland. I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean about Scotland. I'm just saying that that is the most common uh, of the Commonwealth Games. Uh, with, uh, what is it, 770,000, I think. I'll have, to, I'll have to look it up put that information at the bottom of the screen of course but that that makes the hunt indeed um so what i will do though go through the coins all over again see if i've missed anything and i'll get back to you with a wrap up that was a a successful hunt even if we didn't find a great deal of coins overall we did find some a couple at least really good designs and uh yeah, I didn't find anything else in the uh, hunt through those coins. No fake coins, at least this time. Now, weirdly, the, the first one, I'm not sure which one it was of these now. Um, we found this Great Fire of London twice, essentially, um, in this hunt. And I think this one is slightly better condition. I'm not sure, because it seems to have slight... Uh, I don't know if it's damage or what it is on the rim on this one. If you know what that is caused by, it's a rippling effect on the rim. So I'm not quite sure on that one, but by far the most successful find in this hunt. Not in perfect condition by any means. Yeah, getting on a bit now, but we got a Commonwealth Games Scotland. Second one I found fairly recently. But uh, that, by far, the best find, I think. Don't find Commonwealth Games anything these days very often. Not much else. Um, no, as I said, no fakes, no uh, NIFCs or anything like that. But I don't expect those anymore. Um, it's very difficult to get £2 coins, so we're lucky to find any, to be honest. That's a very good hunt overall. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you haven't already, if you like these sort of videos, if you're a coin collector, I'll see you back here next time for more. Until then, keep collecting. Twenty.